there, casual viewer, historian, collector, or reenactor. Mm -hmm. And today, we're going to talk about a field telephone that also can be used as a torture device. This is the EE-8. Today, we're talking about the EE-8. And I gotta tell you guys, this might be the most iconic field telephone in the world, next to the German field telephone. The EE-8 has been pictured in propaganda posters, photos, you can see it in video games and TV series. And of course, in movies like Saving Private Ryan. Right there. The EE-8 was tested in high volume in 1932 and in 1937 the signal call got the first phones. It was basically an upgraded version of the EE-5. One of the biggest improvements was a longer transmission range. And it also was a little bit lighter than the EE-5. Okay, so they were made by Western Electronic, Kellogg, Automatic Electronic and the Holster Cabot Electric Company. And one of the companies that made the leather case were the Great Nanite Leather Corporation. Okay, so there are basically four versions of the EE-8. There's the EE-8, the EE-8A and B. And there's another version of the EE-8, but I'm gonna talk about that one a little bit later in the video. And due to experience from the Pacific during the Second World War, they decided to change the letter case to canvas because the letter did not hold up very well in the moist jungle. And in 1967, they changed the canvas case to a nylon case. Okay, so the EE-8 has a range of 11 miles to 17 miles. The hand crank ringer generator could produce 90 to 100 volts. To hang up the phone you just put the handset down on the lever switch, which you can see in this video, can be a little bit tricky. <laughs> and if you hold your hand right over here, oh, don't do it. You will get sapped when you crank the generator. You're gonna have a bad time. Okay, so they used the EE8 telephones to torture prisoners during the Vietnam War. I couldn't find any evidence that they actually used the EE8 telephones to torture prisoners during the Second World War or in the Korean War, but it might have happened. Okay, so during the interrogation, they would attach the wires to different body parts, like your private Johnson, if you know what I mean. Say hello. Say hello. Hello. So if you are into Fifty Shades of Grey, this might be a great item for you. <laughs> the safety word is banana. Okay, so in local battery mode, the phone was powered by double D batteries. Or you can connect an external 3 volt battery. And with this switch right here, you can choose between common or local battery mode. Common battery mode switchboard operations involves common battery signaling and local battery transmission. The phone must have the batteries installed and the handset switch must be operated when talking. The lever switch on the telephone is used to signal the switchboard operator. The phone comes with a TS9 handset. You can also use a head and chest set with a 3 point jack. You can connect the EE8 point to point. Or, if you want to connect multiple telephones together, you just have to use a switchboard like the BD-71 or 72. The hand crank generator is used to signal the switchboard and the switchboard operator will connect you to the line that you ask for. Okay, so when you take a closer look at the manual... Wait, what? What the hell is this? Russian? A Russian EE-8 manual? Okay, so remember that I told that there were four versions of the EE-8? So this is the Soviet version. Okay, so a Russian version of the EE-8 was shipped from the US over to the Soviet Union during the Second World War. It was because it was a part of the Land and Lease program. By 1945 they had sent over 380,000 phones to the Soviet Union. Okay, so let's take a look at the American manual. And if you have the phone in the front lines, you might want to silence or damp the ringer. Okay, so you do that by opening the steel case and screw out the bottom plate so you can remove the gong. If you want to silence the ringer, you just have to wrap the spade type terminal with isolating tape. And on the last page of the EE8 manual, it says like and subscribe. And if you want to surprise your partner, your wife or girlfriend or whatever, consider buying a box of chocolate maybe, roses and of course the EE8. And you should also consider buying a gag ball, because you don't want to 
disturb the neighbors. 